Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the end of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's get right into your reading Capricorn. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the rest of March, beginning of April in regards to your love and romance. All right, Capricorn, first card, judgment card. Okay, so for some of you guys, this could represent having made a decision. Um, for others of you, it could represent having to deal with a person from the past. Um, what they're saying here is that there's going to be a lot of revisiting for some of you guys. Uh, this could be revisiting relationships. This can also represent revisiting uh, a certain situation that perhaps you thought you were done with or you had already made a decision. Now, your obstacle here is the Hierophant. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Taurus. For others of you, you may just be dealing with uncertainty in regards to where you want to move forward uh, in regards to a relationship or a partnership. Uh, especially for those of you guys that have been in a long-term committed relationship, the current obstacle to overcome is the Hierophant. So it's, it's, it's almost like the reading that we had made for Capricorns, I believe January, the beginning of the year, where they said that there was specifically you were going to be put in situations where you felt like a part of you wanted something and then another part of you wanted the opposite, which there was going to be a feeling of like being pulled towards two different directions. And I feel that that's exactly what they're showing me right now uh, with the judgment card and the Hierophant. For some of you guys, it could be that you've been in a long term committed relationship. Uh, perhaps now they're wanting something more stable, perhaps commitment, perhaps even marriage. But now you're wondering if that's really what you want. Uh, it could be based off of the fact that perhaps there's a third party involved or perhaps your interest is towards someone else. Let's see. But I'm getting that. Yeah. So you have the lover's card here. So the lover's card is in the past and passing. This is signifying uh, being at crossroads, but also being confused about making a decision between two people. So. For some of you guys, uh, the scenario is exactly what we just explained. Uh, being at a point where perhaps you wanted in the past a relationship, you wanted it to progress into something more long-term, commitment or marriage. Now that you're getting that, it's almost like there's been a temptation or there's a new person that is surrounding you that has put all their energy and their effort towards, you know, trying to romance you. So now you're being tempted should I go this way or should I remain, you know, where I've been and experience the manifestation of what I've wanted or uh, what I've been wanting this person to do or to commit or whatever it is that you were expecting this person or waiting, I should say, waiting for this person to make a choice. And I feel that now that you have that, you really don't know where, where you're going. Now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship like a marriage, um, what they're saying here with the judgment card is that there is a decision that was made in the past uh, where now commitment was involved or perhaps uh, marriage, obviously the, for those of you guys that are married. Um, but with the lover's card, I feel that you guys are being very tempted or there's a person specifically around you that is wanting to get your attention and you may be drawn to them. So again, be careful with that if you are married. Um, now you do have here the Ace of Swords. So I do see you communicating uh, with this person that is really interested in you guys. Um, what they're saying here is with the Ace of Swords, you need to be very transparent and very honest, very straight to the point or very straightforward. Um, if this is a, if you are married and this person is like really trying to get your attention, you need to let them know, um, pretty much put your cards on the table and let it be known like, Hey, I'm married or I'm taken. And should they continue to try to get your attention or to take it to that point, 
then ultimately, I mean, ultimately the decision is up to you because I see them really throwing themselves at you, Capricorn. Um, but again, I think that you need to be very straightforward so that you, so that it can keep you from making a mistake that later on you may regret. Uh, now for those of you guys that are single and are dealing with two people with the Ace of Swords, I feel that if you guys are dealing with the Gemini, um, and this is like, a, a either the person that you're with or a new energy and it's a Gemini. What they're saying is that you need to be very transparent and very honest with them. Uh, so again, if you are dealing with the person that you've been dealing for a while and they happen to be a Gemini, then you need to be honest with them and let them know like, hey, I feel like we're not connecting on the same level. Maybe we our expectations of the relationship has changed. Anything like that. Because what they're telling you right now, Capricorn, is that honesty is going to be like your best friend. Um... So when they forewarn this, it usually indicates anything you're suppressing or keeping secret or hidden will come out in the open. And then not only will you burn that bridge, but you're going to be burning two bridges at the same time. So then your opportunities are going to quickly vanish. So again, be transparent and be honest. Now what's crowning you is the Empress card. This is what's on your mind. So you're definitely wanting commitment. I see for those of you guys that are single and are currently not dealing with anyone, I feel that it has a lot to do with the fact that you've been dealing with like a, a specific person from your past. Um, and even if they're no longer in your life, I feel that you've been holding on to that for quite a while. So I see you guys very disconnected, like even pushing people away, people that are interested in you. Um, but marriage or commitment is in the horizon for you Capricorns. And even though you may feel like you haven't met a person that really pulls or draws you in, what they're saying is that's quickly going to be changing. You have the Ace of Swords here. So there's a new opportunity, a new communication opening up, or someone being honest or telling you that they're interested in you. With the Empress card, this, the, you know, people are really going to be vibing to you Capricorn or your attention uh, trying to get your attention, I should say. And I feel that you guys are in a very good place in your life right now. Um, now, if you guys have been having difficulty with regards to your business or finances, I feel that that's quickly going to be changing. And progress and stability starts to come up around the time that new people start to come into your life that really start to get your attention, Capricorn. Now, your next card here is the Six of Wands. Okay. So what they're saying is that I see a lot of people really trying to get to know you, Capricorn, or really try to get your attention. Um, what they're saying here is that ideally, uh, with the Lover's card and the Empress, if you're dealing with the Libra, I feel that this Libra is like, it's going to be, and even if you're not dealing with the Libra at the moment, you will be dealing with the Libra. And the reason I say Libra is because I have the Lovers card and the Empress. And Lovers is air energy with the Empress card uh, ruled by Venus. So again, Libra, I feel that this person has a contract with you. So it's a soul contract. Uh, this is the person you've been waiting for, Capricorn. Um... Now, this is specifically for those of you guys that are single. Um, I feel that they're coming back in. So when they say back in, it could be a person that you dealt with in the past, but you're currently not dealing with anymore. Now, for others of you, this could symbolize that you're at a good place in your life where perhaps it's taking you quite a while uh, to move on from your past. But now that you're moving forward, there is going to be this momentum of energy rolling in of people trying to get your attention or really trying to get to know you Capricorn with the six of wands there is a feeling of being victorious being grateful uh or a feeling of like rapport people really acknowledging you really giving you attention for some of you guys it could be that your romance was completely dead with the six of wands this signifies like a major boost uh dating multiple people at the same time this is very thrilling new type of energy. So I definitely do see uh, your romance really expanding Capricorn. Honestly, I've never seen Capricorn 
have this type of energy in the reading in regards to love and romance. Uh, so this is definitely good um, because they are speaking about having multiple options or having a lot of people really trying to grab your attention. Now, your advice card here is the strength card, Capricorn. So the strength card speaks to me directly about passion. Passion is what you're looking for. Um, so I know that a lot of Capricorns tend to be very methodical about the people that they date or that they connect with. But if you're wanting something uh, that is going to be long term, what they're telling you is pay really close attention uh, to the passion within people. So when I when I say that, what they're saying is people that are really passionate about something that are really inspired, whether it's what they do, whether it's the business they work for, what, whatever it is, to have them express what they're doing and you see them light up, that's the type of energy that you need in your life at the present time, Capricorn, because I feel that their energy is truly going to inspire you and even amplify. And what they're saying is that it takes you to the whole diff to a whole next level. So I feel that uh, for some of you guys, this could be a Leo energy as well. But I definitely feel that the advice here is Keep your options open, Capricorn. If you're uncertain between two people, my best advice, keep options open. Not just with those two people, but especially those that are single. Date multiple people. That's the whole point of dating, you know? Dating is nothing is serious. You have the opportunity to go out with as many people as you want. Um, really keep your options open, Capricorn, because I feel that this year is definitely going to be very very important for you guys because commitment comes in and it comes in with the person that you have a soul contract with, which means this is long term. Um, so again, don't settle for anything less than what you're looking for. Or maybe you don't even know what you're looking for, but you feel like people are just not really getting your attention. Don't settle with any one of those. Keep your options open because then when this person steps in, you're going to definitely know who they are. Now, your next card is a love offering. So again, I don't think I, wow, <laughs> Wheel of Fortune Capricorn. This is crazy. Okay, I don't think I've ever seen Capricorn's readings have so much movement in regards to a love reading. Uh, so for a lot of you guys, congratulations. This is awesome timing for you guys. Um, now, they are showing me here that for some of you guys, if you're dealing with a Libra, uh, and it's a Libra from the past. I'm talking about way, way in the past. All of a sudden shows up or a Leo energy that all of a sudden shows up. Um, I see you guys revisiting this past. So again, it could be reconnecting and you're not really thinking much or expecting much to come out from it. And then it turns into something long term. Uh, like I said, keep your options open, Capricorn, because I definitely do see you guys really having a busy love life. Uh, for the month to come for the end of this month going into April but at the same time I do see a soul contract union that starts to come into your life or that quickly starts to take flight for those of you guys that are single now for those of you guys that are married again like I said I feel that there is a major transition that's happening when it comes uh, strictly connected to your partnership as a whole for some of you guys, it could be that you're going into a business with your partner uh, or both of you guys are pretty much taking an opportunity, something that ha that is connected to finances as well as to your partner, the partner that you're with. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune, I start to see a lot of movement or progress in regards to your finances that will definitely uh, get the ball rolling, bring you guys closer as well as ignite the passion within you guys so definitely good good reading for you capricorns i think this is the best reading i've done this month um for april to come so definitely good good vibes here i wish you guys the very best i hope you guys enjoyed this like share and comment and we'll see each other soon bye